Placing symbols or cells are performed using the Place Active Cell tool. There are a variety of settings to control size, rotation, and AccuDraw can also be useful in aligning cells correctly. So let's jump into MicroStation where we are going to start to place door and window cells along the exterior. So here we are inside of MicroStation and we have the proposed restaurant DGN file open. This can be found in the 07 working with cells folder. As we begin here, let's zoom to the area where columns E5 and E6 are located. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to be attaching a cell library. So from the ribbon, we'll pick the place active cell tool. Next, we'll come into the tool settings window and we'll click the browse cells button. As can be seen, the cell library dialog opens. From here, we'll pick file, attach file. In the course data set, we'll navigate to the cell library folder, standards, cell. Here, we'll select the cell library, building, doors, window. Afterwards, we can then click open. And as can be seen in the cell library dialog, we have the cell library attached. Within it, all the respective cells. For our first task, the entry doors for the restaurant will now be added to the design. From the list of cells, we'll pick double door side light, and we'll set this to be the active cell for placement. We'll go ahead and close the cell library dialog then coming into the tool settings window, we'll set the following options. For the active angle, 180 degrees. For the X and Y scale, we'll set this to be 1.0. And also we'll make sure that true scale is enabled. True scale, when enabled, allows cells that were created with units different than the active model to be scaled to adjust them to the units of the active model. Now coming into the view, Utilizing AccuSnap and AccuDraw, we'll snap to the upper right corner of column E5 and then press the letter O on the keyboard. This places the AccuDraw origin of the compass at this snap point. Next, we'll snap to the upper left corner of column E6 and press the forward slash. This will invoke the AccuDraw pop-up calculator. Through the calculator's operations, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, are possible based on the values in the AccuDraw Windows fields. Here, you notice an additional window overlaid with the division operation active. Now, while maintaining the current snap location, we'll key in 2 into the calculator. This, in essence, will divide the total distance, which is 5,282 millimeters, by 2 giving the result of 2,641 millimeters. From here, we can issue a data point to place the cell. So we just finished the task of adding the entryway doors for the restaurant. Now we'll be adding windows to this entryway. In the Place Active Cell tool settings, we'll set the active cell to window 914 millimeter. Next, we'll bring the cursor into the view snapping to the upper left corner of the door frame that was just placed. Here, we'll issue a data point to place the window. In the tool settings window, here, we'll enable mirror, selecting vertical from the drop-down menu. And then we'll bring the cursor into the view and snap to the upper right corner of the door frame that we just placed. And then we can issue a data point to place the window. Next, we'll be cleaning up the line work around the door and the side lights that we just placed. So from the ribbon, we'll pick the break element tool. In the tool settings, we'll set the method as break by two points. Coming back into the view, we'll be utilizing the break element tool to remove the portion of the exterior wall where the doors and windows are located. Next, we'll make the Place Smart Line tool active. Then, utilizing a Place Smart Line tool, we'll add lines forming caps over the brick veneer, as shown. So we finished up cleaning up the wall geometry. 
So for our next task, we'll be utilizing the Place Active Cell tool to add an end unit window to the restaurant entry. For this, we'll make the Place Active Cell tool active. In the Tool Settings window, we'll make the window 1219 millimeter EU the active cell. From here, we'll set the angle to 90 degrees. We'll make the mirror option enabled and set to vertical. Then coming into the view, we'll snap to the lower right corner of column E6 and then press O. We'll then move the cursor in a downward direction. While maintaining the indexing with the Y axis, we'll key in 152 millimeters. And then we can data point to place the cell. For our next task, we're going to be mirroring this end unit window that we just placed in the entryway. That being said, let's go ahead and activate the mirror tool. Then coming into the tool settings, we'll set the mirror direction to horizontal and we'll make sure that make copy is enabled. Coming back into the view, we can identify the window anywhere on it to identify the window for mirroring. While the location where we selected the window is not critical, where we select the mirror line is. Continuing with mirroring the end unit window, we're going to snap to the bottom line of the window frame. From here, we'll data point to place the mirrored copy. So what we're going to do next is we're going to verify the precision placement of the window using the measure distance tool. So let's go ahead and make the measure distance the active tool. Using snap points, we'll measure the distance of the first end unit window from column E6. Next, we'll measure the offset of the second end unit window from column D6. Hint, if the measurements do not match with the values shown, use the move tool to achieve the correct distances. When measurements are correct, as before, remove the portion of the exterior wall and cap off the brick veneer. Continuing on, we're going to be adding more windows in the lobby area. So let's go ahead and pick the place active cell tool. In the tool settings window, we're going to set the active cell to window 1524 millimeter EU. We'll set the active angle to zero and we'll make sure that mirror is enabled and set to horizontal. Coming back down into the view, using AccuDraw and the origin shortcut O, we'll place the window to be 414 millimeters to the right of column D6. Without resetting the tool, let's change the active cell to window 1524 millimeters MU. Rather than bringing up the cell library and selecting the cell, you can simply type the desired name into the active cell name field. Press tab or enter after typing in the name. Next, let's snap to the upper right corner of the window frame. Here, we'll issue a data point to place the cell, but do not reset. In the tool settings window, we're going to change the active cell back to window 1524 millimeters EU, and we'll change the mirror option from the drop down menu to both. So, bringing the cursor back into the view, we'll snap to the upper right corner of the window cell that you just placed and press O. In order to run AccuDraw shortcuts, AccuDraw must have focus. If you find that the origin O shortcut is not working, it may be that another window, such as the tool settings, has focus. Press F11 or click the AccuDraw window to give focus to AccuDraw and then initiate the shortcut. All right, so let's go ahead and move the cursor to the right, indexing to the X axis. From here, we'll key in 1,524 millimeters. Next, we'll issue a data point to place the window and then press reset to complete the cell placements. From here, like before, we can use the brick element and the place smart line tool to clean up the wall line work and cap off the brick veneer.
So when we are finished cleaning up the line work for the walls, we can then make the element selection tool active. Next, let's hover the cursor over the double door at the entrance, making the tooltip appear. Here you can see the specific element type nearest the cursor, in this case, a cell, as well as the name of the cell and the level the element is on. While this can be helpful, additional information may be seen by viewing the cell properties. With the cursor over the cell, let's press and hold the right mouse button and then pick properties. In properties, we will be able to see detailed information for the cell and each element the cell is made of. During this lesson, you placed door and window cells in the proposed restaurant. In doing so, you learned how to attach a cell library and set the active cell for placement. Once cells had been placed, they were reviewed using the tooltip displayed by the cursor and also using properties. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.